For 17 years, former Charleston Mayor Joseph P. Raleigh Jr. has been working on the International African American Museum. In this edition of Quentin's Close-Ups, I sit down with the former mayor one-on-one. -on -one. And be sure to download the free Quentin's Close-Ups app in your Apple or Google Play stores. Oh, mayor, it is so good to see you. It's always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for having me. Anytime. You know, I ran into you right in front of the Charleston City Hall just the other day. And I know I wanted to interview you for Quentin's Close Up, so here we are. And I want to talk to you about the obvious because everyone's talking about this and it's such good news. Chartered membership for the International African American Museum. You said the following quote, I've been working on the International African American Museum for 17 years and it is a remarkable feeling to invite people to become chartered members of this institution, which will have some broad impact on our country. Each and every charter member will play a crucial role in bringing this museum to life. So what role will a charter member play? Well, they will have the pride of helping get this museum moving forward, that is, its organization of members and supporters. And charter members start with very modest uh, membership. You can join for five, $40, you can join for $25,000. But you, but you will know that, and you can tell your children and grandchildren that you are a charter member, that you're one of the first members of this wonderful institution. And just today, I presented the institution to someone from, you know, from New England, uh, a potential donor, and, uh, and this person from, you know, a thousand plus miles away was just overwhelmed with what we're doing and, and understand its importance not only to Charleston, South Carolina, but importance to America. Mm. Let me turn to Darla Moore. As you know, she donated one million dollars to the uh, institution, that is. And you said this about Darla, quote, Dollar's incredible generosity has provided invaluable support to some of our most treasured parks and green spaces. She's a phil philanthropic leader whose long-term commitment to South Carolina has been transformed in beautifying and preserving our communities. So when you think more about Darla Moore, what sticks out to you? Well, um, yeah, it starts with that she's really a nice person. Yeah. And, uh, and she's very generous. And she's also very um, thoughtful and astute about her generosity. You know, she created, endowed the, uh, the Darla Moore School of International Business at the University of South Carolina. She's contributed greatly to the town of Lake City right. and to the economy and its history right. and to the agriculture and horticulture. And then she and her late husband, uh, created what is the Charleston Parks Conservancy uh, with a generous endowing gift of $10 million some years ago. And, um, and so she, she is just, she wants to make things better for this community, for the state, and for our country. And she understands the power of the International African American Museum and is just such, such an enthusiastic and generous benefactor. And you know, Wells Fargo obviously donated five hundred thousand dollars into private funding from their bank. When you think of Wells Fargo and their commitment to the International African American Museum, what thoughts play in your mind? Well, you know, one of the large banks in the country, and uh, headquartered in San Francisco and and also in Charlotte. Uh, but again, this bank sees that what. The International African American Museum in Charleston is doing is very valuable for America. Not just for Charleston, South Carolina, but for America, because America will benefit so greatly from being taught and understanding African American history. And the 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 history from the beginning, and you you can't teach that history, present that history without starting in Charleston. You cannot. And so Wells Fargo, from our beginning conversations with them, their wonderful local leadership, and then the national leaders, they, they saw the big picture. And so having them, you know, contributing is very important, a very generous amount of money. And then it's a wonderful symbol of, you know, this is, you know, big bank, big national bank, believes it's important to America. What's the big picture for the International African American Museum going forward? Well, we're working very hard, Quentin, on the raising the rest of the funds. Um, I work on it every day. I was working on it today, uh, just a little while ago. And um, so our goal is to get the money committed 
by committal, I mean that if, say, a foundation said, we'll give you a million dollars, and we're going to give that to you over three years. Well, that's a million dollars. We, right. You know, it's a blue chip foundation. Right. So, we're not, so just we don't need the million dollars in our pocket today on our bank account. Um, but if we know it's going to be there, then we can go forward on that. So getting the, the $25 million of private funds committed, uh, and, then, and then we uh, go back to the state to their recommitment of their funding. They've given us uh, $14 million so far. And then with that in place, uh, the city of Charleston who will be building it, they will be owners of the building, at least at the African American Museum for, you know, 100 year lease or whatever. Then the city will bring down the start flag and get the contractor to start building. Mm. Hmm. Is this your legacy? No, it's, it's not my legacy. It's a legacy of the people who were brought here uh, 100 year, years ago. And, uh, and the most harsh of circumstances, mm -hmm. and who, who prevailed, and um, and suffered, and and uh, persevered, and and that built this city and built our country, but who were not honored in the process. So this is their legacy. It's not my legacy. It's the legacy of those who, who came here and, uh, and made, helped make this community and this country what it is. So we are, in, this, in this museum, we will honor those who haven't been honored yet, and uh, that's, that's why it's being built. Let me switch gears. When you look, drive around Charleston, what's the biggest difference in your mind? Well, there are a lot of things. I'm, you know, proud to see the city is successful and, um, and the, you know, people coming here to visit and, and investing and creating jobs and, um, and it's a beautiful place and, and the public spaces are occupied. People are at our parks and on our streets and sidewalks and other public spaces, happily and safely. All kinds of people, all backgrounds, all interests, right. uh, sharing it, owning it together. That's what I see when I ride around. That's good to hear. Well, Mayor Joseph P. Riley Jr., thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate this. You're a great guy. Thanks for having me. Anytime. Take care. Like good luck. Yeah, thank you.